Hello, how is everyone doing? It is your fallen angel back with another video. Today, we are going over the facets of cunning, specifically charm. Now, charm can be used in any aspect in this lifetime, whether it's to seduce a new job opportunity, to seduce new facets of money, seduce a new partner, friendships. Charm can help you in many ways in the art of power. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Charm is the ability to make people view you positively, to make them like and trust you. When people like you, it makes them more inclined to help you and more hesitant to harm you. Conversely, when people dislike you, it makes them less inclined to help you and are more willing to harm you. So, charm is the way that people perceive you, right? The more charming you are, the more they will flock towards you, right? Charm is arguably the most important facet of cunning for the modern world. For most of the ve venues you face in modern society, particularly those where the stakes are high, your ability to charm people will be a make or break factor, right? Now, many people get away with a lot of different things because they're charming, right? Many people in positions of power, they get away with a lot of things because they are charming, right? This doesn't just have to come down to really good looking people, right? Good looking people also have charm naturally, but it is charisma, right? How you use your charisma to your advantage. Anyone can be charming if they know how to do it. Job interviews, charm, the hiring manager and get it and get a job. So if you charm the hiring manager, you can get a job, fail to charm the hiring manager and be unemployed. So. First impressions are always the best thing, right? Because you, the first time you see the hiring manager might be the last time. So it's in special to indent a good impression early on, right? You want to charm them to some degree, right? Whether it be some kind of flattery, some kind of thing to make them like you. So flattery is often good. This is also a key in charming people as well. Office politics, charm your superiors and you will get promoted. Fail to charm your superiors and you will be fired or kept around but never ascend. One of the best tips in the art of charm is allow people to talk about themselves. Something that people love to talk about is themselves. Literally, find out what they like and talk about that. This is a superpower to find out how to charm people and to keep the conversation going. If you know how to talk about things that people like, not only will you be considered liked as well, because you will also build a sort of rapport with them as well. So learn to be charming with people based on what they like. This is how you'll get what you want and also be considered charming as well. Sales marketing, charm your clients and they will buy from you. Many people will buy a product for, a, for no real reason at all, other than because they like the salesman representing it. This is true for many cases. Many people buy things they don't even like, they don't even need, because the salesman or saleswoman was really good at their job and they were really charming and they got them to buy it, right? This is why charm is really good when it comes to door-to-door -door sales or any type of sales in general. You have to be charming to some degree because people like to buy from people they know and like. There is no surefire strategy for charming people, since what charms one person may offend the other. Indeed, being reasonably good at cold reading is a basic requirement for being a good at charm. You must be able to cold read people's personalities and present yourself in a way that will charm their specific personality. So, we understand that everyone will be different, so it's essential to cold read right and then with the warm rating we we basically confirm our biases so it's essential that we allow them to tell us what they like and then we basically mirror the type of person we want them to to enjoy right this is just a form of mirroring as well right to become what they like be talk about the things they like and just basically become a walking charm a lucky charm in essence when attempting to charm, always take the sensibilities and biases of the specific target person at hand into account. So yes, while some people may 
enjoy flattery. Some other people may think this is disrespectful and that you're you're doing this with some kind of intention, right? So you want to conceal any ways that you're you're trying to purposely charm. Let it be natural, right? Let your charm be natural. Don't let it seem like you're doing it for some intrinsic reason. You want to remain cold and detached in that regard. You want to charm but also be cunning at the same time. This is why cunning and charm are, are coinciding. So guys, this was cunning, the facet of cunning, explaining charm. Feel free to like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below. Feel free to check us out on Patreon, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, things of that nature. This has been your Fallen Angel, and I am out.